What's going on everybody? Welcome back. Today we're talking about drifting. If you're new to the game, drifting is extremely important. If you're on your way through the ranks, Elite, Champion, and Unreal, I'm going to touch on some aspects that will be key to know in order to keep your drifting consistent and keep your minimum speed up throughout a lap. Festive Falls, it's a good track to be on to practice your drifting. And we're just going to start by asking the question, what is drifting? Drifting is just the art of having your car swing from one side to another. And it's gonna give you a little bit of boost using that green bar at the bottom of your screen. That was just a natural drift. You can have that happen by just turning a corner sharply and you'll end up getting that drift bar going. And then there's the manual activation of drifting, where you're gonna hit your drift button. And for myself, it's the right bumper. And I have that set on my controller. And you can see that with my controller overlay right now. Default, it's gonna be on X or square. And if you're on keyboard, I'm not the best person about keyboard. So I have moved my drift to right bumper. Ultimately, I think that's the best place to put it, whether that's right bumper or R1 on a PlayStation controller. But, uh, but that will activate your drift if you just swing in the opposite direction of where you want to go. So all you do is you're just going to be driving, hold right, and you're going to swing your car back end out to the left. And the key to drifting is long, consistent drifts. So I'll see a lot of people and they'll be wagging their tail is what I call it, like this. And as you can see, we weren't gaining much in the way of boost throughout there. In order to do that and chain your drifts together, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna drift out one way, hold your drift button and swing in the opposite direction to have your car carry on those drifts. Again, every time you change direction, you are going to stop gaining boost at the bottom of the screen there. So you want to have long, sweeping drifts, which will gain that bar up quickly, as opposed to having drifts like this, where you're always changing direction, which I see a lot of people doing. So you want to have long, sweeping drifts and you want to aim for your drift bar to get to that long section in the green bar down below your car as that gives you one more speed and also keeps that speed up longer so just to reiterate in order to get maximum drift you want to have long sweeping drifts as opposed to the golden retriever tail wagon that, uh, that I like to call it. And that's gonna keep your minimum speed up. You're gonna see that we're gonna keep a lot of speed throughout that whole drift. And then again, you can hit it once more. And you're gonna maintain a high minimum speed around this entire lap. We're gonna probably average just around 700. Just by, just by drifting. So I would get on either day drifting or festive falls and practice your drifting until you get it nice and consistent where you can take these long sweeping drifts as opposed to short drifts. And just, just feather. You just wanna be easy on that, uh, on the thumbstick as it'll allow you to keep your drifts. You'll see my wheels are always turning to just kind of steady the drift. Through this tunnel here, you wanna maintain, maintain, and then we'll chain our drifts together, just like that, and we're gonna cross the line. <clears throat> and that's the basics of drifting. Day drifting works great in order to uh, in order to get your drifting skills up and where they need to be. 
Uh, Festive Falls is good for more advanced maneuvers, which we're going to get into right about now. So we're back at Festive Falls. And some of you might be asking, well, how do you get your, your drift to end so quickly? I have to wait for my car to straighten out, which by default is how you get your drift to end if you just let your car straighten out. But there's a simpler way to do it. So we know how to chain drift, which we've already talked about, just like this, where you hold your drift button to change direction. What you're gonna do to cancel a drift is you're gonna just tap both the opposite direction and your drift button at the same time. And that's gonna get you to straighten out your car super quick so that way when you're going through this tunnel, you can easily just cancel that drift when you're when you see your speed falling and it'll allow you to get that that drift to finish exactly where you want it so let's go around here one more time do our chain drifting and canceling our drift as you can see and now i get this question all the time about drifting how do I hold my drift in the air? That's a fantastic question. And this is part of the reason why I've changed my drift button to right bumper instead of the default of X. Because in order to have this, what they call a drift stall, where you've built up drift and then you jump off the ground, you need to be holding your drift button when you jump. So you're holding your drift button, you jump, and then that's gonna allow you to hold your drift all throughout. So if you wanna, if you wanna hold your drift and then jump and then flip somewhere, that's how you'll do it. We'll get back in, we'll cover more drift stalling once we head back to Festive Falls here. All right, so we're back at Festive Falls. Again, we were just talking about drift stalling. So if you wanna cut this but hold your drift, you can do that. Now, if you've ever seen a Festive Falls run, you'll see that they drift stall through this section and that way you can accumulate more drift through there. You have nice sweeping drifts. And then if you wanna to get to the top of the tunnel, with your drift, you can do so. Just like that and come off the top. One thing to note when you come off the top of a tunnel and you're holding your drift, you are gonna switch directions. So again, this is a section that you'll probably see a lot of people in the higher ranks do, where they're gonna hold their drift through there. It wasn't executed perfectly, but that's, in essence, your drift stall is you're just gonna hold your drift button as you jump. Then what you can do is you can also flip and flip and flip and flip all while holding your drift. So a lap in real time around Festa Falls if you wanted to get to this level is use a drift cancel there pull a drift stall through there, and then you can take some nice drifts through there. So we're gonna go to the top of the tunnel because there's boost pads, a drift cancel through there, rotate around, and then right across the line like that. And that's essentially drifting in a nutshell. Use Festa Falls or day drifting as a jumping off point for your drifting mechanics as i think they're both good tracks to nail down if you can get your festive fall time down to a sub 140 using those drifts then that is going to be an accomplishment if you're trying to push up into unreal uh then you're probably going to want to shoot for a 135 but then you take all that drifting mechanics put them on all the other tracks and you'll be able to see where you can execute drift cancels, drift stalls, 
And then one other thing to note is a slingshot, which we can execute here on this first corner. So you're gonna, every time you're gathering drift, you're also in turn gathering boost. And when you boost and then release your drift, you'll see that we're gonna gain a massive amount of speed. So like when we go through this tunnel section, let's just make sure we get enough boost saved up. When we come through this tunnel section on the top, you can see that when we release our boost and we're using our turbo at the same time, you're gonna see us get up to around 1400 with that slingshot of releasing your drift while you're in the middle of boost. And that's gonna get you so much extra speed. Again, right there, right up to 1200. Again, we're gonna start flipping the other way if you hold your drift off of a, uh, an upside down section. So again, you're gonna come through here, hit all three pads, hit your turbo, and then we can fly right through this section, hit all these pads, boom. You can pop the flip, that's a great place to use your drift stall there, up to the top and use our last turbo, and we're gonna cross the line. And let's see if we can put on a decent time, somewhere in the maybe 134 range, because we had a poor first lap. Yeah, 134, 470. Not a clean run, but that is what drifting is in a nutshell. Use those mechanics, get ahead of your competition, and I'll be seeing you at Unreal very, very soon.